Okay, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the Cat Williams stand-up that premiered Saturday that was live um, called Woke Folk. Um, this is my first time watching a live stand-up. I know Chris Rock did it either the year before. I think it was the year before. He did it the year before. I watched it, but I didn't watch it live. I watched it on playback because I'm not really a big Chris Rock stand-up fan, so I just watched it on playback. And I briefly talked about that special in uh, other videos. But with this Cat Williams, I like this new thing of watching it live because it has a different feeling than when you watch it that something that's already pre-recorded, you know, and edited. Like it felt like you were there, like you were in an audience, but actually happened to be in an audience. And I think for my first introduction into a live, Cat Williams is a great introduction, you know, for this type of feel and vibe and you know audience especially you know come out to Shannon Sharp thing but I think people thought he was going to do what Monique usually does and has been doing but just talk about people talk about people he might give you a little hint of it but he's not going to stay on it long like it's not going to be a rant he's not going to rant on stage like he's a true comedian like in the truest form he ain't about to stick to what was in the past like he might touch on here and there to, you know because he know people want to hear a little bit but he's not going to stay on it and like, drag it out so I do, obviously he mentioned Shannon Sharp, but he didn't go into detail about it, which is people just probably wanted to hear him say Shannon Sharp. And then he mentioned um, Trick Daddy too and put him on screen, which was disrespectful. <laughs> disrespectful, you know, did hit on that and then back to, took it right off. I do like that too. I know comedians have been doing where they post, you know, like on the screen, like different stuff that they're talking about, which I do really like that. I think Ali Sadiq, on his last couple he did it. I haven't watched it yet, but on the last couple he did it. Um, I seem like you know the preview or a trailer or whatever. Um, I know a lot of comedians I think have been doing it lately where you put it on the screen, which I do um, like. It's like a first of all, it's a visual, but it's also like a you know like a like a teacher on stage, like showing you visuals, like here the slides and with the projectors. It's good the projectors showing you slides, which I really like. Um, Cat, like I said, has yet to deliver a bad stand up. Like I said, some are better than others because some it's just hard to compete with. Stuff like Pimp Chronicles and it's pimping, pimping. Like, it's just hard to compete with certain stand ups, obviously, that you have had when they're just so great. Um, so, like I said, nothing he has put out is bad. He always gives you a great feel. His tone is great. He gonna be energetic. Like, he gonna give you what you need to do. <laughs> he almost do. He like, dang, y'all almost seen this live. One, one thing I don't like, I don't mind you doing it at the beginning, like when he was running back and forth on stage. I don't mind people talking at the beginning, but it's like, it's rude to be talking. Like, I get that, it's like, I love you, Kat, and all that, he made it a part of the set, but like, don't be talking during people's set. Like, I think people now be posting stuff online and like crowd work and stuff, so they think it's okay to talk to people, but I think you shouldn't talk unless the comedian is asking you to talk, like, unless he is like, hey, some, some, some ask question, or... You know, something like that. But I don't think people should be talking. This isn't a back and forth. This is him doing his set that he prepared and thought about. Like I said, there's some comedians that want you to talk because they didn't prepare a set. And they didn't come prepared. So they want you to talk to fill up that time. But Cat is not one of those comedians that needs you to talk. He don't need you to talk. Like he did say something. Like, Where does something get? Where does something get? Which is cool. But after that, that's shh. Like, I don't like when people be talking. Like, let him do his set. Stop talking. Then he said something, and they finished the line for him. Dang, what was it? He said something, then somebody in the audience finished it. He did talk about the Alabama bra, which I do not like. And, you know, he acted it out. Like, obviously, I got on Donnell Rollins for doing that. But he did the simple throw up the hat, which is literally was played. And definitely played by the time he got it out. But I feel like Cat was doing a whole hot topic thing. He probably was doing this because it's live. And he probably catered it towards his crowd that crowd like i feel like that crowd probably want to hear hot topical things and they want to hear it in that way so i'm not necessarily mad at he probably didn't want to talk about it and haven't had a chance to talk about it but i don't genuinely like it like it wasn't like oh this i'm just rolling laughing at that but it wasn't bad compared with how he did it obviously it's a live special it it was like for the festival i don't necessarily mind that um, cause I think, like I said, that specific crowd wants that, but I don't think you should put in like an actual special that's not live and that's not at a festival that you're torn. I can't remember the line that the audience member finished, but they called, finished, finished it out. That's why you can't do pop topical stuff because other stuff have already been, you know, touched on and people know what you're going to say after. But overall, like, 
Like, it felt good. It felt... He can't let me don't be entertained. Like, he always going to entertain. Like I said, he's not going to never not be funny. Like, he's going to give you something. It was something that I chuckled at. All right, I can't remember what it was. I tried to shut it right down, but I was so busy trying to watch it and catch it live that I wasn't thinking to write it down. I feel good. Like, I would want to watch another live taping. Like, I really like that. I think that they, sh they should do that more often. Then, like, you, the mics was so, the mic for the audience was so, like, loud. That's why I was like, people was talking to people this. Like, you could hear every dang on word, every dang on laugh. Child, probably somebody sneezed, you could have heard it. But, um, you know, Cat always going to give you a different outfit. He had his little red shoes on, red, matchy little outfit, two-piece matching outfit with, like, a little pop of red. You know, he always going to give you a weird, different artistic outfit child. That's one thing he gonna do. Yeah. There's no need to break down break down like specific jokes because I feel like yeah, he wouldn't need to be if he woke folk and he remember he had the necklace on woke folk in the Shannon Sharp interview. Then he he is good on time because he literally did exactly an hour. Like I was watching the clock. He didn't go over or under like he did exactly an hour. Um uh, which usually is hard for people to do but then he wrapped it up, you know. Right on time. It, it didn't feel like rush. It didn't feel like, oh, he hear, had to hear up and sign off because the hour was up. It seemed like, you know, it was timed out perfectly. So his timing was really good. 